still can't believe it. I cannot accept the fact that she's God. I cannot. You know, and the matter of uh, them seeing when they said that she had an accident around the pool, I said, oh, no. How many kids or teenagers did you have that have that have a swimming accident around the pool in trial? Uh, she was a very focused person. She was a very questioned person. And she had a lot of stamina about her. She would never have drowned by a pool. So someone put her in that pool and made it look like she tried. You understand? To this day, and it's almost one year later, we still don't have any answers as to how she ended up dead at the bottom of that swimming pool. Well, we were told that her clothes was discarded. And uh, we were told that it was discarded because they didn't think it was something that was important. Uh, and we were also told that she accidentally drowned. So we're thinking that the authorities assumed that this was an accidental drowning in the pool due to some sort of intoxication, and that's not the case. There were two toxicology tests, one in Ghana and one conducted by the FBI. Both those results indicate negative toxicology. They claimed that she went back to her room, was allowed to go back to her room by herself, and from what I understand, she never made it back to her room. Where was she? Those, that, that's my question. Where, were my, where was my daughter? And how come she wound up in the pool with the same clothes she had on the night before? Everyone comes home but her. I initially, my first reaction was to get everybody together and let's see what we can find out went on. Let's see if there's a clue here where they could help the investigators find out who was responsible and the school district and the parents of the students that went on the trip were silent. We do know that the FBI has followed all the leads in Ghana to the present date um, and they are focusing their attention on the Teaneck High School students. Furthermore, um, both of the pathology reports indicate that she simply was not in the pool water for eight or 10 hours. She was in a very short period of time. She worked hard to go to Ghana, to Africa, and didn't even get to live to see it. She was, she was dead within uh, 24 hours. The Moors were very concerned that their daughter's legacy not be in vain, that her death not be in vain, and that her legacy should be one of love and helping people and seeing that this never happens again. We came up with the idea about Felicia's Law, that there should be some sort of federal legislation to regulate off-campus school trips. And that regulation should be in place in every public school every high school, every college in this nation. And it should state that there should be some bed checks, there should be head counts conducted. None of that was done uh, with this Teaneck High School trip. And we feel very strongly that if there was a bed check, that this would never have happened to Felicia.